Hello everybody, it's me, welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, I am going to be taking a peek at Glubby. Now look, apparently it's not Glubby, it's Glooby. And I've been calling it Glubby Glooby ever since then, but I don't really know. Let me know what you call it. Do you call it Glooby or Glubby? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna call it Glubby because it's what's been called since the beginning of the game. But whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna take a look at it today. And it got a buff and an ability uh, ability change with the recent season one balance changes, where it got a, a 10 magical attack buff, where it got uh, from 90 to 100 magical attack, and it got its trait change to healthy toxins. If there is acid rain, recover 10% of this doodle's max health at the end of each turn. So essentially, you're just gonna get 10% of your health back if acid rain is up, which is really, really nice, which makes this thing very, very solid on acid rain, which you can use it defensively or even offensively. And I've been experimenting with Enchanted Sapphire Glubby, and I think it is kind of interesting. I have Health and Magical Attack here, and it's just these two are always what you're going to use in Glubby, or you can use a Defense. It doesn't really matter. You can use Health, um, Defense, Magic Defense, or Magical Attack. It doesn't really matter. Um, depends on the set you're running, though. And with this Glubby, I am running Goo Blast, Hex, Chilling Chorus, and Psycho Force. And... What's nice about this is you hit a lot of the game super effectively, except for metal types and some food types. What's nice about it is because of Enchanted Sapphire, you can throw out some ridiculously strong moves. This is like, we're going off of pretty high attack stat. We're, go we're gonna have like 250 something attack. It's gonna be very, very nice. And we also just have generally good coverage all around. And we're running max special attack. It's like as high as we possibly go on special attack, we are running it. And yeah, I'm just, it's gonna be hilarious, I think. I'm also, I also grabbed kind of like a pseudo um, acid rain team. I didn't have a hidden trait Jirisera on me. So I have corrosive one with acid rain, which would let it be up for about eight turns. Then I have Gramantle, which can abuse the Acid Rain pretty nicely, being able to pivot, and also gives us an, uh, an Earth and Mind immunity, which can pair pretty well um, with something like Jirisara and Glubby, pairs pretty well. Then I have a Demons and Oxus, which I forgot to give equipments. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy. And I also have Party Bug Awaken, because I wanted to try out Party Bug A with Springling, so I thought it'd be fun with their ability rework. But yeah, anyway, enough talk. Let's hop into the first battle. Bruh, I did not know Gramanto got Ariel. Hold up. This is be crazy. Dude. Oh my god. It has unguarded strike? I'm afraid because this guy... I, I sat in fine battle for like actually 30 minutes waiting to find a battle and I couldn't find one. Uh, and now this guy's like wanting to bet MHTs or something. It's, it's, it's crazy to me. But anyway, uh, let's go party bug. Let's see. So this is like olden times where we got hit man bird. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's. I mean, I know he's either gonna shockwave or hit and run, both of which I can live. So I guess I just be summon. That is also something you can do, but I just still gonna be summon. I'd rather get my be summon up, then I can awaken this next turn. Then which that'll give us my spell shield thing. Then we're chilling. One of my friends wants um, uh, Party Bug's ability to be changed to where it sets up spell shield on your side of the field. I thought that'd be just hilariously broken and funny. Did you mention a guy from the Grotto video? No, I don't remember. Ooh, we're alive actually. We stay living. Um, okay, we're gonna go Jira here. I think the main problem is mostly that we can't really stop hitting me. Okay, we set up our acidic rain. Now we're gonna go into Glooby. Yeah, it's Glooby, not Glubby. It's Glooby. Um, and then we have Goo Blast opportunities. Well, he could have a metal type, but we don't know if he has a metal type or not. Okay, let's see. We have a really strong possibility of a goo blast. You know what I'm thinking? I think he has a metal type. 
right? There's no way he doesn't. Or a crystal type, even. What if I psycho forced? But I'm thinking, like, what if it's Seam Knight, right? I feel like psycho forcing here. I'm feeling risky. Even then, he could have a dark type, and that's a pursuit on me. Oh, I should have chilling chorus, huh? Um, <laughs> that's no good. Uh, Gramantle's really good into this, though, at least. We also have the option. We can also run Cursed Cloak Gramantle, which could be fun. Back to the olden days of Cloak Gramantle that I used. That was fun. Vague Vortex, we take little to nothing. We also don't take damage from Acid Rain, I'm pretty sure. Which is a little bit of something I think that definitely needs to be fixed. So I got healed first and he took damage, which means that he, I outspeed him. <clears throat> this is fun. I like it. I like Ariel. Um, let me and Tomo here. See what he goes into. That looks like Cloak. That's Cloak. Okay, well, I guess we can take this thing down and I'm not that upset about it. I mean, sick. We also... Dang, we got a lot of our health back on Jira there. The lower we are, the better that ability gets. So we got low, then we switched out. Healed 40% of our health, which is huge. Going to Hitman Bird. Um... I think I tank the attack super well. I don't know if that's just me. I think Gloovy is a switch I can just make every time. Oh, he's gonna flashbang. Yeah, you're always gonna flashbang first. Okay, now we throw out a Goobla. Dude, look at look how healthy we're staying. Just because of the acid rain being up, this is huge. We love Gloobie. And it's still up thanks to that corrosive wand on the Jirocera. Keeping it up. And okay, so here we're going to Gooblast. I honestly think that Corrosive Wand might be a bit better than, um, or I think Refresh might be a bit better than the Hidden Trait that actually sets up Poison Precipitation, which is an Acid Rain ability. It might actually be better specifically because you can consistently set it up and heal, right? But back then, um, you would just use Poison Precipitation if you're using an Acid Rain team. But now that Corrosive Wand exists, you could totally just use the other variant. Okay, so... They have Sir Sablet. Hmm. I feel like this is fine. I outspeed it and I can set up Acid Rain, get rid of Sandstorm. Which then in turn, I can go back into Gloobie. Which then they would click Earth Surge, which is the only move that they have. They crack themselves out of here, that's fine. I can, cross, I can set up my Acid. Opal Pulse comes out. Interesting move. I think the Earth move is the better option there, but hey, whatever. You can do what you do you. Alright, now we set up Acid Rain here. We could also hit it, but I think we just want to set up Acid Rain. Then maybe we could even go in a Glubby. Or not Glubby. Uh, Party Bug. Alright, it's Acid Rain. <clears throat> okay, Earth Surge comes out. And we actually tank it, which is huge. So I think here we 100% go Party Bug. And we can tank one hit from this thing. So let's go Party Bug. Refresh should heal us back all of our health. Nice! Party bug. Okay, perfect. Take absolutely nothing from that. So now we actually get the option to awaken. Which then we can also Lewis Prayer. Then if we die this turn, we go Jira, Hemlock, we heal, then we go into Glubby. Then after that, that'll be four turns of rain left. Or acid rain, which means we can go back into... No, maybe? That could actually end up in a kill for me if I Lewis Prayer here. I mean, you're going to click the electric move. Or I could just Psychokinetic at that point. I'm just Psychokinetic and just get damage. I want to set up my global shield anyway, so I can get uh, my leaf blades off and be super duper strong. I'm not going to do that a lot though, unfortunately. We're chilling though, Thunderstrike comes out, we die, and that is completely fine. We got our, our spell shield up, which is definitely what we wanted. Okay, and Glooby's a switch we can make. Glooby, sorry, I keep saying Glooby. Like, ever since I heard about it, it's in my head now. Okay, let's go Springling. Uh, and here we're just gonna Leaf Blade. And this is 10%. This is a very, this very, very strong move. So look, what's crazy about this is that we are actually 10% stronger. That may not seem like a lot, right? But let me explain why it is a lot on Springling. It's gonna be a very, very cool thing I can show you. 
boy of swagger. Okay, that's definitely going to awaken. Okay, let me go over here real quick and let's go check out Party Bug. Whenever you awaken for the rest of the battle, your allies have 10% more attack and magical attack, right? Let's go to Springling. If we have 10% of 116 is like, uh, is that just, it's not 16. Uh, that'd just be, uh, 10.6, I think? Maybe, something like that. Let's just go, uh, hey Siri, what's 10% of 116? It's 11.6. So, you add 11.6, right? And then, it equals 127.6, which then you do by 2. Which means we have a, we have a 255 attack stat right now. That's how high our attack is, 255. 255 is crazy. Swarm comes out. That did a lot. That, that doesn't say it's awakened, though. We have Ariel as well, which is a good move we can click. He can awaken Electro Punch, which I think we end up dying to. Then, if we can at least get our Ariel off, we should be fine. But if it's not, that means he would have Shattered to Zenoxus, which is bad. Ariel comes out. Ooh! Huge Demoglio. It's weird jelly, actually. So it's not awakened Spectatic. So he ends up, he's going to kill us here. Electro Slash comes out. Yeah, that's completely fine. We can end up going into Springling, which can get a kill on this thing. And then maybe kill the, next, the last two. Let's find out. I like how Glubby did some good work in the early game. It's very, very good work in the early game. Uh, being able to take on Volt Tattoo is nice. And it's like full health still. And just being able to throw out like three moves. It's crazy. I haven't revealed Anoxious though. So that's nice. Okay. I think here we just Leaf Blade at this point. I think we just want to try to kill this. We don't have much that can kill it. Our best... Jeez, dude. Unfortunately, he's going to get his Reaper, so we're not going to be able to actually kill it this turn. So we can go into Xenoxious, though, which is able to end off the game with Unguarded Strikes. Lethal Ornament boosted Unguarded Strikes, by the way. Because they thought that they, thought that they think this is fair. Because Xenoxious. Now we reveal that it's our last. We have Glubby, which can guarantee get at least one hit off on something. So yeah, we can Unguarded Strike here. I think actually we could Poison. Actually, it doesn't really matter. We're going to die one hit anyway. That has to prevent a move. So let's go for an unguarded strike. Bam! And down it goes. We have our three poison types still left. <laughs> There's four poison types on this team, and only one of the two of them are weak to mind. Lady Gaga. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. They're saving it as their last. Oh, shoot. Oh, I don't like that you have this. Never mind. I wasn't worried. Well, that's a good game. GG. Good game. Good, good game. Okay, now here we go into the next one. This is an incredibly poison weak team. Whoa. Okay, this is a very, very good team for us to use this against. We can totally go into Party Bug. Um, which can then set up our global spell shield, which gives us an, all a very nice small attack boost, which would give you a 16.5. Yeah, I realized you just put a decimal there and we're chilling. I was kind of dumb. All right, let's go into Party Bug. I think we can just easily go for a V-Summon. So last night, I went to my friend's... The, the, she was attending, like, this um, group thing. Um... <clears throat> He did, like, he was attending this, like, she was attending this group thing, and it was fine. I, I went to it, and I wanted to stay with her, because it was a place I'd never been to, and she, it was, like, one of her first, I think it wasn't her first time going, but she told me, like, they separate people into groups, and we were not allowed to be together, and I'm like, oh, no. So... I got dragged into a broom closet with like four people I didn't know and they they it, they were very nice though they were very very nice people but I was in that room with people I didn't know and I was like huh so I was a little like okay this is this is happening can I just goo blast here I think goo blast would kill it regardless even if it's just goo blast um but anyway 
Continuing on. I was in that broom closet, and they gave me a piece of paper I had to fill out with, like, contact information in case I wanted to attend the, uh, location that they were at. And I was like, I don't plan on doing this. I was just shifting winds? Talena Awakened has shifting winds? Pursue me right now. Dang it. I mean, I, hey, I'm chilling. You should have pursued it, though. That was a very dumb move. Anyway. Shifting winds? <laughs> Why do you have that? Why does it get that? What? But yeah, I had to fill out a whole card of contact information. Then this morning when I woke up, I got a text, but I didn't answer it. Because I didn't know who it was. And they just said hi. And I was like, okay. Just not even gonna... Not even gonna entertain it. Um, what the heck do I want to do? Hoping that the thunder strikes. I can go into Glo Glooby. Which is another kill. Oh my god. They thought I would go to the Arosera. A goo blast. It's gonna take a lot of damage. I think... No, this dies 100%. Uh... Kadiri might die. Uh, you're just gonna take- Bye! Okay. Sick. Dude, wait, Glooby? Glubby? Lobby? Oh. Are we gonna do the same thing? Can you pursue me this time, bud? You can click Pursuit. It's a move you have. Or not. Do you have Pursuit? Dude, why are you clicking the same thing, bud? Bruh. Click uh, something else. Uh, I can hit and run here. I think it's a bit better. Well, if I do this, I can go into Jira. Yeah, we'd be chilling after that. What was that? Heard a sound. I always hear sounds. They're in my head. The voices! Anyway. California. <laughs> wow, that did a lot of damage. Uh, is this just free? Dude, Glooby about to get, what is that, three kills? My name's Glubby, and you're watching Disney Channel. I know people are mad I'm switching between Glooby and Glubby, but I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Get him, Glubby! Let's go. Freest kill of my life. Freest kill. Um, oh. I know what you want to do. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, shoot. You know, I thought Aurora Flash would have came out there. Is this my best option? Shoot, if it's Max Mikadiri. Oh, no. It's going to be very, very, very bad very quickly. It's Unguarded Strike. <laughs> you take too much damage. <laughs> okay. So we're chilling there. We can Poison Punch this, but it can set up its ass. It can set up its rain. Oh, shoot. If that is Storm... Oh, shoot. What a... I could totally lose this. This is losable. Actually, Glubby would have to tank a rain-boosted tsunami from a Gyronaw. Is this Storm Bottle? Yeah. Shoot. Okay. We kill Grim. Go Glubby. But it's rain boosted, stab boosted off of probably max special attack. Oh, we're living on. Okay, no, we're living on Glubby. Never mind. I was scared for a second, then I saw the damage it did to this. So we chilling. Okay, let's go, Glubby. You got this, bud. Get four kills this game. Please, Glubby. Let's go! Glubby clutching the game! <laughs> Woo! 
We didn't even get the acid rain up, and yet Glubby still did a lot of work. I see. It looks like it's Sapphire, which means you, if it's Sapphire, then we should be chilling. Unguarded strike. Yeah, it's Sapphire. And it it's okay. We killed it. We're chilling. Wait, I actually found a battle. I haven't found one today. I just clicked it out of instinct after finishing a battle. <laughs> I hate this team. Um go into this but then she's gonna tomophobia which then we could feral but then gets it low but then we can't beat something that's annoying oh uh, i could do this i'm gonna figure out to go and live agua i don't have removal but if i could set up my own b summon but they've never let me do that i don't know what they would think i would lead with maybe they go will freeze on the possibility of Gramanto coming in because then if that happens i'm in a bad spot because i can't really deal with will freeze all that well if i go into glubby maybe on the will freeze counter maybe i can also go into the nush but yeah it's speed boost but I resist all of its moves, so yes, I think Xenoxus is the play. I don't know if I one-shot it. I don't think it's something that I want to find out, though. But Xenoxus is really strong here. So I think I want to go into... I could maybe even go into Party Bug, but no. I think if I go that, I go Wolf Freeze, I'm just going to... No, I have to Poison Punch. I think I have to Poison Punch there. Like, right there, I think my best option was to Poison Punch. Now, all I need to do is get uh, is get my Party Bug on the field. And if he's Earth Surge, then maybe I could go to Party Bug, Awaken, Outspeed, but I don't ever kill it. I have Psychokinetic. Maybe I could do that. Maybe, 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 maybe. I mean, I know I can kill this thing right now, but I... No, I think I just... I'm just not going to be... not going to think about it. I'm just going to... Unguarded. Why not? I just think it's my best option is just to kill this thing. Unguard is probably the worst move I have in my arsenal because we have a resist, a resist, a resist, a resist. So, Unguard is a really bad move to click, but we got to kill that thing there. But now we are weak to everything on his team because we got our defense lowered. And if they go, we'll freeze. They can't because I resist all your moves. This makes sense, but it's a little annoying and scary. Um, I mean, you're just going to hit and run, right? You can even shatter and then hit and run on Jira. You're not you don't really care about that. My poison punch is really good into his team though. Yeah, they did shatter into hit and run. So this means I can now hit and run myself. I could have even gone into party bug there, but I don't think I can take a shatter and a hit and run. Unless the thing is Ruby. Is this thing Ruby? No, it's okay. So it is Riot Shield probably is what it looks like. That did a lot to me, so if they go full tattoo, that would make sense. Oof. I guess at that point I could awaken with party bug and just die and then after that I can go glooby which has a really good goo blast yeah okay that's fine glooby's glooby's goo blast is really really good how the heck do I beat Rotera? like how do I do it I don't think I do how do I beat Rotera? I think I need the attack boosts no I think I have to be some in here I think I awaken to wait I don't have Marshmallow Fedora. Anyway, um, I kind of just remember the Marshmallow Fedora thing. I didn't awaken. Wait, that's actually fine then. We be summoned first, and then now we awaken to Psychokinetic. And then if they shifting, that's okay, because we get uh, the thing off anyway. I think we definitely want to break Leblog with Determination Jelly so we can actually kill it with Springling. I made a mistake here not being Marshmallow Fedora. That's fine. That's okay. Dying there works because now we can threaten everything on his team. Right? Look. Our Psycho Force is also incredibly strong here, right? I think Psycho Force is actually the move, the play here. Because it hits everything. Nothing he has resists Psycho Force. And if they end up going Xenoxia to try to resist Goo Blast to hit me with a Dark Slash themselves, then I get to kill it in one shot. Then they would have to go Rotera, which then means they can go into Grimantle, which then dies to hit and run. But if they do that, let's see. 
I I have a very strong move here regardless. I have a very strong move here regardless. I have almost 200 attack just because of just because of the party bug. 200. I have like 350. I have like 300 attack. Bam! And we killed the Xenoxus there in one move. Exactly what we were looking for. Exactly what we were looking for. Okay, now Rotera makes a lot of sense to come in here. Because it just wants to hit us. So then we go Grimant. Oh, shoot. I don't... Wait, this is interesting. Because we kill this thing with a Psycho Force. We kill this thing with a Psycho Force. Would it shifting? Is it shifting winds? I don't know. Why did this come in? This is a weird switch for him to make because this doesn't make any sense. I think Globby can live one hit from Rotera, but I seriously need it to be healthy. I need it to be healthy. If not, then I rely on B Summon plus Springling. Take down Libelago there with a Psycho Force. Beautiful. And now, will Freeze make sense? Hmm. Or do we just go for it now? I think we just go for it now. I honestly think we just go for it now. Because after that, we have Springling's Quick Strike, which is really strong as well. I think we just go for it. If we die, we die. And that's fine. We did all of our work we could. We died a Dark Slash here. We can we can wall this thing or do really well against it with Jira as well as Anoxious. <gasps> he overthought it. Let's go. He overthought it. And he dies. Oh my god. Glubby. Dude. <laughs> Glubby popping off. Okay. We can actually save this now for the Voltato. We just sack off her mantle now. So just literally nothing. Then once he loses his thing, we go to Xenoxious, but then he's forced to sack with them. We can sack off Xenoxious or just go straight Globby, which like it can tank two hits. We sack off for mantle. Dang, dude. Globby is uh pretty good. Globby's uh broken, dude. I I really do like Globby. It's always been a, a, a legendary I've liked, but I've never been able to enjoy using just because of the existence of no uh, stab, right? No good stab. You have Poison Punch. It's the only thing you have. Quick Ice is a bad move there because it doesn't do anything to me. It only does 30 damage. Bam. And down he goes. I don't lose health in my Lethal Ornament. He lost his head off just instantly because Psycho Force was just an incredibly free move against this entire team. I no point. I had no reason to click Goo Blast, Chilling, Hex, or anything. Psycho Force was the move there. And Poison Psychic is not the worst coverage, but it's definitely not the best. It's poison Punch here, and down goes the Voltatu. Good game, good, good game. Well, I'm just saying, Globby's kind of fun. Well, I think with that, we're going to end up this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe down below. I honestly did not think I was going to like Globby this much. I think it's just really fun. You don't even have to use it specifically on Acid Rain either. You can seriously just chill and use it. I think I found my next mythical chain. I like Globby. It's always something that I've enjoyed using. I might as well try to get a misprint of it. I think that could be very, very fun. Um, does, is Virgin and Venom contact moves? Or is it just moves in general? Because if it's contact moves, then I think normal ability is better. Um, it, oh, attacks have a 20% chance to poison. I think I would go for an MHG 6 star then. That could be kind of fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye!